Mr Speaker, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to stand in support of this bill. Well, the future is here today. Isn't that exciting? Yesterday I read that Cisco unveils a video conferencing phone called Yumi, that's you and me, where we can talk across uh, the broadband uh, in high definition television. Mr Speaker, that's going to change the way that people do business. I was talking to one of uh, uh, Taranaki's uh, chief executives uh, who described what happens when they have a board of directors meeting uh, with directors coming from all around the country. Not only do they take out around about 12 hours uh, to get their accommodation and meals, uh, all of that time, all of that expense for about a two-hour meeting. Uh, of course, that's costing probably around about $1,000 per director to get there, to have their meeting, to make their decisions. But not only does it cost a lot of money, Mr Speaker, it actually takes these people uh, out of productivity during all their travel time. Yes, while they get together and talk for two hours, uh, it's high value. They make great decisions uh, for the forward progress of their company. But, Mr Speaker, the time is coming when they are able to hold those meetings as if they were all together in the same room, though living in different parts of the country. That is going to save a tremendous amount of money. It's also going to save a oh, tremendous amount of money, uh, perhaps $1,000 per person for each meeting. Uh, you know, $6,000, run that up, you know, half a dozen times a year. That's money that that company can put into productivity. Not only that, but also, Mr Speaker, uh, 10 hours per person. These are the sorts of things that ultra-fast broadband are going to bring uh, to our, uh, our country. It's going to lift uh, education. Uh, it's going to lift uh, the access of information for our health care uh, systems, Mr Speaker. So it's a great bill. I commend it to the House. Thank you.